HD 100546b is one of the most interesting exoplanets we've come across so far. 353 light years away from Earth and almost four times bigger than Jupiter in radius, it's often thought to be the biggest known planet, several times the size of Jupiter and almost as big as the Sun in radius. But is this actually true? What is HD 100546b really? How did it form, and are there any other planets like it? Before that, I should mention that it's unknown if HD 100546b is even a giant planet at all. It's possible that the radius of the planet might have been severely overestimated due to dust surrounding the planet. If this is true, the planet's actual size might be a bit smaller than Neptune, and is surrounded by a massive cloud of dust obscuring the planet and causing it to look bigger than it actually is. So far, it's actually unknown how big HD 100546b is, despite what you may have heard. It could be the biggest known exoplanet, but it also might not be. So just be aware of that for this video and others. But for this video, we'll assume it is bigger than Jupiter, or Super Jovian. If this is the case, HD 100546b actually isn't all that unique as far as giant planets go. We actually know of several similar to it that are also very big, from the four planets of HR 8799 to the giant worlds of Beta Pictoris, which has a separate video on my channel. Many of these planets share one thing in common, and that's they're all very young, some only a few million years old. They also have large separations from their star, usually orbiting further out than Neptune orbits the Sun. Super Jovian planets on long orbits like this are my personal favorite type of exoplanet, because they're so unlike anything we have in our solar system and each are unique in some way. But as far as I can tell, this type of planet doesn't have a specific name. So for this video, I'll be making up my own. From now on, I'll call any planet more massive than Jupiter that orbits further from its star than Neptune orbits the Sun a Tartarian planet, named after Tartarus, the Greek underworld that serves as a prison for the mythical Titans similar to how these planets are trapped on the outer edges of their systems. These planets are usually detected by direct imaging, that is, taking a picture of a star and looking for the planet around it. Large planets on wide orbits are easiest to see because they're bright and outside the glare of their stars. HD 100546b is the most well-known of these planets, but it's far from the most interesting. This is HD 95086b, a planet 282 light-years away from Earth which was officially named Levantes in 2023. It's about five times the size of Jupiter and orbits Aeolos, a star 60% larger than the Sun. It's very young, like most of the other known Tartarian planets, and despite being further from its star than Neptune, has a temperature high enough that it glows. This is because the planet is so young it hasn't cooled down from its formation. It's also one of the few exoplanets that has a known color. Levantes is known to be deep red in color, likely because of large amounts of hot dust in its atmosphere, and is one of the main targets for study from the James Webb Space Telescope so I'll likely know more about it in the future. HR 8799 is a star that has four planets like this, with evidence for two more. The star is 40% bigger than the Sun, and all four known planets have been directly imaged orbiting it, as seen in this time-lapse. Each of these planets is larger than Jupiter, and the innermost one, HR 8799e, is a bit further away from its star than Saturn is from the Sun. There are dozens of other examples of planets like this, but that raises the question, if there's so many, how did they form? How did they get so big, and why did they seem to form mostly around stars bigger than the Sun? The answer to these questions can be found in their stars. More massive stars typically have larger protoplanetary disks, with more materials for planets to form. This is seen when comparing protoplanetary disks from small red dwarfs like Au Microscopii to stars bigger than the Sun like Beta Pictoris. Beta Pictoris's protoplanetary disk is far more massive than Au Microscopii's, and so has more opportunities to form giant planets. But how they get so far away from their stars is harder to answer. It's possible that planets like Levantes were thrown outward into more distant orbits by other undetected planets closer to the star, or they simply formed where they are now. But there are planets that take this long-distance orbit to the ultimate extreme. This is Aura, a planet about nine times the size of Jupiter, 64 light-years away from Earth, which stretches even my new definition for a Tartarian planet. It's interesting for multiple reasons. One, it orbits a white dwarf named Maru. White dwarfs are the dead remains of stars similar to the sun that ran out of fuel and exploded, leaving their dense core behind. So, Aura orbits a star that has already reached the end of its life. Second, it's unimaginably far away from its star. For reference, one astronomical unit, or AU, is the distance between Earth and the sun. Beta Pictoris b is 10 AU away from its star, Levantes is 51, and the outermost planet of the HR 8799 system is 71 AU away from its star. Aura is 2,500. 
This makes Zara have one of the longest years in the known universe, likely lasting several hundred thousand Earth years. If Aura was placed in our solar system, it would be past Neptune, past the Kuiper Belt, and all the way to the inner edge of the Oort Cloud. Aura is far enough away from Maru that it likely survived the death of its own star, making it one of the very few known white dwarf planets. But surprisingly enough, Aura isn't cold. Because the planet is so massive, it generates its own internal heat, warming the planet's temperatures between 120 and 170 degrees Fahrenheit, equivalent in temperature to some of the hottest recorded places on Earth. How Aura got to be so far away from its star is a complete mystery. It could have been blasted out by the death of its star, or formed there as a binary companion to Maru that simply didn't gain enough mass to become a star. But either way, it's not even the most extreme case of planets of this type. This is Coconuts 2b, which is three times further away from its star than even Aura. It's a full tenth of a light year, or 7,500 AU away from its host star, which is a small red dwarf just 35 light years away from Earth. But despite this, it's even hotter than Aura, with an average temperature of about 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Coconuts 2b is currently the planet with the longest known orbital period, taking over 1 million Earth years to orbit its star. These extreme Tartarian gas giants are unlike anything that exists in the solar system, and Aura in particular is another prime target for study from the James Webb Space Telescope, which will characterize Aura's atmosphere as well as search for other planets in the system. I've only scratched the surface of the incredible diversity of these strange worlds. From the clouds made of vaporized ensatite rock on the planet Nysakopake to the still-forming worlds of PDS-70, there's still so much to learn about Tartarian planets, and this is why they're my personal favorite type of exoplanet. From Levantes to Aura to HG 10546b, these planets are some of the strangest and most unique planets in the universe. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out my other videos about exoplanets, as well as my colonization of the solar system series.